All right guys, so today I just wanted to do a real quick little run through here, show you a few things in Affinity's Develop Persona on uh, doing kind of a landscape type photo. Um, so today I've just chosen a quick little picture. Um, it's one I took over at Lake Overholzer in the old 66 bridge. Um, and like I said, I just kind of wanted to run through this real quick and show you guys a few things you can do in the Affinities Develop persona. Alright guys, so here's the photo. And uh, we're set up here just in the Plain Develop persona. I haven't done anything to it at all yet. Um, here's the final product after all the edits right here. And back here, here's our starting point. So what I've got a couple of presets built that I start out with like this. And I just come back through and tune it. But if you don't have these made yet, I'll show you real quick how to get there from here. Um, so if you're familiar with Lightroom at all, the black point and brightness here, uh, they kind of correspond with Lightroom's uh, black point and white point. So what I usually do is knock the contrast down in this setting here and then bring the blacks back in and the white point which is going to give us that contrast back kind of I think I'm a little overboard there do 20 and then I usually come down here and I knock the highlights down a pretty good bit And take up a little bit out of the shadows just to increase our dynamic range a little. Bump the clarity up. Now I usually tweak saturation and vibrance depending on the photo. I don't have that in a preset really. So if you think this is an area you'd like to have a preset made, you can come up and click this little bar right up here. Click add preset. Name it. Click OK, and then it'll be done here, where I have this one labeled Try This. So, you can see when I do that, knock the contrast back down. It's about where we were at, just from what I'd just done. And the next thing I like to do is come in here to Tones and Curves. I'm going to set three points at each of these intersections here. And then, do a classic S curve in a lot of my landscapes. So let's bump this down that axis a little bit to bring the blacks up. And here for the highlights, just a tad. And then that's the same thing. You come here, add preset, name it, click OK, and you'll have that. And then the last thing that I do for the tuning is go to the details tab. And since this one, I'm at ISO 100 on this, I don't really mess much with the noise reduction. Just leave it at default. And a lot of times I'll come in here and add a little bit of sharpening to the raw file. That seems to do a cleaner job of do it than doing it in the develop persona. A little bit. And then there you have it. I've pretty much done all of the tuning in the develop module. Um, the next little trick that works well, you come over here and click this gradient tool. And on this one, I kind of want it angled a little. So I'm going to drag a little gradient down here for the sky since it's a little blown out. Angle it down. Drop the exposure. Maybe bring a little more black point into it. See what contrast does. Uh, it just makes it look like a bad vignette, so I'll leave that alone. And yeah, that looks like a pretty good deal. So there you have it. All you have to do from here is click develop. It'll bring us over into the 
photo persona here. And uh, if you'd like to see some things I do in a lot of my landscape photos in the photo persona, I'll put a card up here somewhere, maybe over in here. Um, and that will show you the what I like to do in my photo persona edits a lot of times um, in an earlier video that I did for Affinity Photo. So there you have it. There's our tuned up image, almost ready to go. You could quit here if you want, or you could continue doing a little tweaks in photo persona, or however suits your taste. So I hope you enjoyed this quick little edit video, and. Uh, if you did, please like it, subscribe to the channel, um, I'll be posting some more. Like I said, I've got all kinds of plans in the works, uh, some film stuff coming up as well, so stay tuned, we'll bring you some more content, hopefully you enjoy it. Thank you very much.